Let's get straight to 24 Hour News Aid's Ken Coker live in Norton Shores this noon with what we've learned since daybreak. Ken? Now, here's what's new this morning. Uh, the chief today says that they're no longer looking at at one so-called person of interest, a man they had stopped on Wednesday in a silver minivan, a man they were taking a very close look at. Now, police today weren't saying exactly why they were taking such a close look at him. They say they questioned him for several, several hours on Wednesday and that he returned voluntarily on Thursday. The investigators now say they can account for where that man was on Friday at the time of Jessica's disappearance. Gentleman that was stopped on Wednesday evening, uh, I believe it was in the city of Muskegon, um, and was brought in for questioning. Um, he voluntarily return, uh, agreed to return on Thursday. Um, the investigative team met this morning, um, debriefed on the information they received from him, and they all agreed at that time that he is no longer the focus of the investigation. So they're now shifting and looking at additional names from tips that we've received. Here's also what the chief told us this morning. He said that police say they're waiting for test results to come back on spots that they found outside the gas station to determine whether those spots were actually blood or not. They also say they now have Jessica's DNA, which they say they took by taking samples from her parents, evidence that they say will be important as this case goes on. Live in Norton Shores, Ken Coker, 24 News